Hey folks, welcome back. Today it's about this drum loop here. And we want to build some kind of drum repeater or beat repeater in the grid with some recorders. And I already showed you some uh, beat repeaters with the delays and so on, but this one is a bit different. It's a different approach. And it's also kind of um, something I did with the irregular looper preset. There's a link in the description. I only created a short video for this, but it goes kind of in the same direction. So we have this drum loop here. And what we want to do is we want to record basically each quarter of this drum loop into a different recorder. And then we play back these recorders in different order. Okay, so we take this quarter here, this quarter, this quarter, each one in a recorder, and then we use a different playback algorithm, right? And then it should kind of lead to a nice, interesting shuffle or rearrangement of the drums. So we have your input and output from the FX grid, and we need some recorders, of course, and we take four recorders. And now we have to sequence this to get each of these quarter sections of this drum loop into each recorder. And we take a split for that. The split can go up to four. Um, uh, or we can also take eight, but for, for the sake of the simplicity of this tutorial, just take four. So we connect this here with the audio input. So in, now we can take here the audio coming in from the drum loop and then we split it up into different recorders. And we do this by sequencing this with the phase input. The phase is basically a positioning signal. Um, I explain this every time, but I think it's very important so people get what I'm doing here. So the phase signal is a positioning signal. It's uh, uh, the value range is between zero and one. And as you can see here, we step through the split device evenly. And when this value is basically zero, we uh, hit here the first slot or the first recorder. When the signal is a value of one, then we hit the last recorder and everything in between. So when we basically shape the signal differently here, we have also a different playback order, right? So when I use here maybe a mirror for that, something like this, All right? Then you can see the playback orders much differently. But we want to keep, keep here a steady uh, sequence of flow. So now you can see it fades from one slot to the other, which is sometimes nice, but here we want to have a stepped. So we go here to the interpol interpolation nearest. So we switch or snap to the next slot here, to the nearest slot from the value. So now we have this, we basically feed here the audio into these different recorders exactly like we want to have. And then we need to trigger the recording here accordingly. So we just duplicate this, use a constant of one, so a signal of one as an input. And now we can use the signal as of one, which is a gate signal, of course, and trigger here the recording. Right. Now you can see it records here into each recorder each quarter note, which is exactly what we want. And then we probably also want to play back this differently than we actually recorded. So we just um, duplicate this here again, instead of one, or oh, we can actually take the one as an input. We can keep that, hit your play, or yeah, use each slot, of course. So now we hit playback, you can see it plays back already. But we want to have a different playback order. So we can shape the signal here for this playback. Maybe I call it play. This is um, record and this is audio. Oops. Audio, okay. So um, we switch to the order by shaping the phase signal. We have a lot of phase options here we can choose from. And one I like is mirror, where you can shape the signal. So let's take the mirror output here, maybe give this a different color. Um, 
Oh, it's actually not. Um, let's do it red. And um, yeah, the red one is basically the mirror signal, and the purple one is the original signal. You can see we kind of doubled, or instead of a ramp, we have now a triangle shape. And it's also doubled in the frequency. You can also go up to 24 here. See, the red one is then four times faster than the original ramp signal. And you can see uh, we switch pretty fast through the playback, right? All we have to do now is basically to sum this up with the sum module here. Bam. 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 And we can go out to the output here. And now we can use and Right, so we play back here in a different order. We go to 12. Or maybe 36. Right, so we can create kind of this uh, Pete repeater effect um, pretty easily with the grid and this small little arrangement here. Um, like I said, you can also go up to eight slots if you want to. You don't need to stick with four, uh, which would be even finer grained here. So we then took basically um, these two nodes into one recorder, these two and so on, right? And we can do this quickly here. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Connect everything. Also here, it's eight now. Eight, eight. So this is playback. Playback, playback. This is recording. Record, record, record. This is the audio signal here. And yeah, now we have basically the same thing as before, just finer grained. So this is the shaped signal. This is the try signal here. So now you can go to a sequence sequence mode or use a step sequencer here and just bring in the mix. So let's go to eight nodes here and at the end of the sequence we want to blend in the repeater. I make this longer here. So you can something like this easily. So when you use here um, odd numbers, you get a different repeat or odd repeat. 24, uh, 36. So this is one way of doing it, or another way of doing it. I already showed you in some videos how to do it with the delays and um, a different recorder setup. But I think this one here is also pretty fast to build and easy to remember. Just sequence here uh, with the split. Uh, split this up with the phase signal and feed it into each recorder and then use a split here with a different playback algorithm. You can, you can of course here go wild with this. Um, you don't need to use the mirror. You can also maybe use reverse. Um, so reverse basically reverses um, the playback order, as you can see. And now we play the last bit first, right? 
and so on. Which gives you a completely different drum loop feel. So basically take here the last bit and play it first and then you play this bit and then this bit and then this bit. So a lot of options, right? You can choose here again different phase options. You can play around with that, maybe synchronize it with the clock quantizer. So a lot of options to choose from. I put this here in the description below so you can download it for, for free, of course. Um, let's go back here to a mirror. And yeah, call it maybe beat repeater or whatever. And you can download it and can experiment with that and have some fun, okay? So that's the tutorial for today, for the Friday, for the weekend. Have some fun on the weekend. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a like if you like the video, of course, subscribe to the channel and use the notification bell because it's super important on YouTube for whatever reason. Thanks for watching and bye.